Hey guys welcome back and in this tutorial we are going to create this promotional social media post in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. Go to file and create a square artboard. You can choose any square dimensions that you like. Select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Go to the gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient and invert it. Change the black side of the gradient to a light gray shade and the white side to a darker shade. Note down the RGB codes for these shades that I am using. Now create a rectangle at the bottom portion of the artboard. Change its color so you can see it properly. Go to Effect. Distort and Transform. And Zigzag. Click on Preview to check the effect in real time. Select Smooth, and increase the size to 30 pixels. Select 3 ridges per segment and hit OK. Now apply the same gradient to this rectangle. But this time, change the gradient to linear. Apply the gradient as you like. Slightly scale it and make adjustments. Now select this rectangle and apply some shadow to it. Note these values of the shadow and hit OK. Now add the food image here. If you want to use the same image in your design, check the video description and download this image. Adjust this image on the right side of the artboard. Now we will add some headline text here. Write any headline text that you want. Just copy and replace the text. Increase the font size so you can see it properly. Adjust the alignment of the text and change the font. Note down the fonts that I am using. Now change the color of the text and apply some bright shade. Note down the RGB code for this yellow shade. Change the remaining text to white. Adjust the spacing and the font size to make it more appropriate. Now bring it to the artboard, and scale it to fill the space. Now we will transform this text to grab the attention. Select the transform tool. Hold down the control key and drag this anchor point slightly upward. Now create a copy and add more features. Change its color to white to make it a little different from the headline and decrease the font size. Now we have to separate this text from the headline. Select the pen tool and create a separation. Draw a slightly curved arc between them.
Remove the fill color and apply a stroke to it and change its profile to 1. Now you can see a separation between them. Copy this text and add more features about the food product. Add about 3 to 4 extra features. Now we have to make these features more appropriate. Select the pen tool, and create a curved arc. Apply the same yellow shade to it. Remove the fill and apply a stroke. Again select the pen tool and draw an arrow head. And apply the same stroke to it. Select this arrow shape and increase the stroke. And change the profile to 1. Now we have an arrow like this. Place this arrow above all the features. Create several copies and place them. Now add a discount offer on the left space. Select the type tool and write some discount offer. Select a nice sans serif font for this. Note down this font if you want to use it. Change the font weight to bold. Apply different shades to them. Select the Polygon tool, and create a triangle. Remove the fill and apply a stroke color. Go to Effect and round its corners. Select a small value around 15 and hit OK. Now select this triangle, and from the Stroke panel, Click on this dashed line to change the stroke from regular to dashed. Note down this dash value for the triangle. Bring this discount offer inside this triangle. Now you have a nice discount offer. Select the type tool and add a text box here. And add some text about the food product. Change the font weight, and color. And adjust the font size. Decrease its opacity to 80%. Copy this text and add some contact info. Decrease the font size and adjust the alignment.
Copy this text and add a contact number. Change its color to white, and increase the font size. Select the rectangle tool and create a small rectangle. Go to effect and round its corners. Select a suitable value and hit OK. Copy some text and replace it. Right click and bring it to front. Increase the font weight, and change the color to a gray shade. Align it to the center of the rectangle. Bring this rectangle to the bottom right corner. Now select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And here is the final output. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.